First person to reply has no uh, day. Uh, dad. Wait. Disney Plus introduces first woman of color superhero with She-Hulk. How many people had to look at this and say it was okay before it was published? Is this real, though? Is it real, though? Men in denim built America only for the men in suits to destroy it. Hey, uh, Nick? Report of man waving pole with knife attached. I just saw him. It's a tree trimmer. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Those things always did look a little funky, though, right? People born in 2003 are 23 now. That's crazy. American girls are really like this IRL. I'm not American. I'm Arizonian. Oh, she's got a point. Congratulations to the IRS on winning the 846.3 million Mega Millions jackpot. Winner of $1.28 billion lottery gets $433 million after tax. I focus on taxes and litigation. I bet you do. That's super, super cool. At least that billionaire was taxed appropriately. Check that out. Knife set with knife block included can't fit all of the knives. Huh. Well, uh, take the scissors out and throw them in your random drawer. You know you wanna. A manga listing on Amazon. Top reviews from the United States. The binding of this book is backwards, and the book has to be read back to front. I ordered a replacement. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, Beth. That's not gonna help your situation. Missing woman mystery solved. A group of tourists spent hours Saturday night looking for a missing woman near Iceland's, I'm not gonna do it, canyon, only to find her among the search party. The group was traveling through Iceland on a tour bus and stopped near a volcanic canyon. Soon, there was word of a missing passenger. The woman, who had changed clothes, didn't recognize the description of herself and joined in the search. But the search was called off at about 3 a.m. when it became clear that the missing woman was in fact accounted for and searching for herself. <laughs> Everybody's to blame on that one. Snowflake students claim Frankenstein's monster was misunderstood and is in fact a victim. But that's... that's the book. That's what the book is about. Yeah, check that out. This is how much a 1.7 million Bugatti costs. I can only imagine that it was about the actual costs beyond just the payment price up front. I mean, like, uh, what is it? A set of tires is $40,000 or something like that, and you have to change them out every eight seconds? Nintendo! Now wait just a second here. If I had to hazard a guess, something is a little off. Someone paid $525 for this. No win. Oh, $525, dude. This stuff, I feel should be, uh, well, I can't really say illegal. It's definitely your choice. They're playing on an addiction here. They're absolutely selling to addicted people for sure, more than anybody else. But there are age limits here. Uh, thirsty? Just drink the ocean. <laughs> Population growth and food and water scarcity could cause over a billion to migrate to other regions by 2050. Our reality is worse than an alien soap opera. How can water be scarce? The whole world is filled with it. I know what you're saying, and I'm sure we're working on more desalination plants, but I don't think that that term popped into your head. The security guard is bored, so he draws some eyes on the millions dollars worth painting. It's also his first day on the job. Wow. Damn. We get some real Mr. Bean shit up in here. Pants were invented for men, not women. It's impossible for a woman to wear pants, jeans, yoga pants, dress pants, leggings, dungarees, etc., without sexualizing her body since they highlight her legs, curves, and rear end. Women who want to be modest should not own pants at all. That's a lot of words for nobody will fuck me. <laughs> hey, it makes a better tweet than just nobody will fuck me. We get to make fun of him a little bit more, dude. Guys, help me. Which perfume should I get? I'm so confused. Well, we're not far behind you on that point. I put soy sauce in the sushi lid and it looks like an iPhone. I love discovering things like this. It looks like an iPhone, my brother in Christ. That's called a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know exactly what she was talking about, so maybe chill the f*** out with your I'm smarter than you memes. Forgot to put the drain plug back in. $35 down the drain. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is why I pay the extra $10 to have a grease monkey location, not person, do this for me. <laughs> I mean, it's really not that much more expensive to just have a professional do it. This guy forgot to give us the correct answer in this poll. Oh, did he? I, I wouldn't have known. I don't know how to do anything regarding numbers. I can only read. Americans will use anything but the metric system to measure things. 
Tonga eruption blasted enough water to fill 58,000 Olympic pools into the Earth's atmosphere, NASA says. I mean, unironically though, you gotta remember there is a reason that we do this. It's because people like me are stupid, and we can visualize things a little bit easier if you put it into terms for us stupid people. I can visualize 58,000 Olympic pools a little bit better than I can a very specific number of liters. I'm sorry, it just... I, I, it's easier for me. British India tried to get rid of cobras by offering a reward for capturing snakes. Locals started breeding cobras and giving them to the government to collect the reward. The British found out and stopped the program. The breeders then released their snakes, causing the population to increase. That's right, boy. you, Britain. These snakes deserve to live. Hi, this is Micropost. We have had difficulties getting you on the Xbox database. We require... Requery your email and password to get you back on our database. Learn to spell at school.com. My pass is stupid one... Stu stupid... Stupid one... Stu stu OMG, yo, you actually fell for it. I, I have fun getting hack. Dude, this kid fucking got you, bro. You got God. At a press conference today, after her win, Kari Lake says there was election fraud. Okay. How dare a private horse rescue where someone actually lives require people to make an appointment? Don't bother going unless you have an appointment. Uh, y yeah, thanks. I won't bother going until I make an appointment. Putting he him does not make you a real man. If you feel need to put he him in biography, you are not a man. You are effeminate boy. Do not meet me real life, I will punch. Okay then, sure dude, whatever you say. When I was a kid, my sister told me that the paper strip that's in the chocolate kisses were edible, and I ate them with the chocolate for like a year. They are! Wait, for real? Why would you believe this again? I mean, they are edible. It's just a little bit of paper, that's not a problem. So, our local children's hospital recently redecorated. But I'm not too sure they really thought things out. No, no they did not. Rusty the Red Fox Beanie Baby. Uh, not a fox. Right. He's a red panda. Yeah. Well, this is a little bit strange, Beanie Baby. Also, I love that they started putting the tags in plastic enclosures. Look, Beanie Babies have never held or gained value, dude. Why are you still doing this? Why? Mattresses store only wants to sell mattresses. They sold us a nice bed, but two years later when we were moving, they refused to help us move the bed, even after we offered to pay for it. So in our opinion, all they do is sell beds. Don't expect anything else after that. Yeah, you should be able to straight up delete it like this from your website. I mean, it's funny, but it's bullshit that you would do that. They're a mattress store, not a fucking moving company, this hat. Imagine going on socials and your landlord is doing TikToks about collecting rent. First of the month, rent's due, mofo. My favorite day of the month is the first. That's when the rent is due on all my rental properties. That's really cool, you fucking parasite. I had a friend who didn't take my advice about only wifing virgins. Had a baby with this broad with 15 plus body count. The baby came out looking like a composition of the past 15 guys she fucked. Doctor said it had something to do with the sperm residue sticking to the vaginal walls. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to men like this. R slash not how girls work, or not how women work. I can't exactly remember, but wow. Would you rather get paid a million dollars right now, or fifty dollars every month for the rest of your life? I'll take option B. That's what passive income is. Find a way to make passive income. It'll change your life. Okay, let's take a look at this fifty dollars a month passive income that you're gonna be earning. Let's see if it'll amount to that one million dollars. All right, so what's that? $600 a year, roughly, assuming that we don't have taxes involved here. All right, and let's assume that you make that until retirement age of, what, 62 to 65? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say 65. So, assuming that you're 30 years old now, uh, depending on that blurry photo right there, <clears throat> let's see, we'll do 35 years. That's about $21,000 worth of passive income you've earned over the course of 35 years until retirement age. Even if we took a 40% tax rate out of that base million dollars there, this passive income is utter bullshit, and you wouldn't even be able to buy the shittiest brand new car on the market with that after 35 years. I'm sorry, I just had to go a little bit into it. My math is probably wrong, because again, I'm stupid, but this is one of the dumbest tweets I've ever seen in my fucking life. Which of the following items might help an HR professional drive employee retention and success? All right. A ping pong table, additional resources, or responsibilities, excuse me. A raise in pay. Incorrect. Often, when an employee leaves, it's not about the money. A good exit interview can help determine the real causes of employee discontent. Wow, keep telling yourself that. Yeah, 
A ping pong table? Go screw yourself. How to keep the same lifestyle after inflation. That's probably better than we all think it is, too. Hong Kong bans eating at annual food expo. Okay. At this point, it should be illegal to use the internet without any schooling. If you were revamping the human body and were to give boobs an actual useful function instead of just sex appeal, what would you have them do? Right. Okay. There are a lot of posts going on today that are about people not wanting to fleet them. Officials at Yellowstone National Park want visitors to stop taking selfies near bison. Great article! Why do they want them to stop doing that, though? I'm curious. Are people getting injured? Are people getting injured? Worst car salesman ever. This little SUV is the best I've ever owned. Goes anywhere you want it to. Email me your phone number and I call ASAP. You better have cash ready or don't bother me. I have a car for sale, so therefore you need to have cash to buy it. For the idiots out here in Craigslist land, that's stupid. $2,500 is cheap for a CRV. Okay, so there's a white CRV on here for $4,500 that's listed to have 315,000 miles and is not sold and nobody's calling about it. Why? Because I guess the high miles. But yet my email is blowing up with interest in mine for 2,500 bucks. However, these idiots are thinking it will have low miles. You people are dumb as hell. Stop being idiots, people. You get what you pay for, and the thing is my CRV. I bet. It, uh, a bet run- This guy can't type. Runs and looks better than one price is twice as much. What do you expect for $2,500? Well, that's a good point. No, you, $2,500 is a good deal for a CRV that clearly looks to be in well-kept condition. But if it's got 400,000 plus miles on it, I might have a week before it does finally explode, and then I have to spend five more thousand dollars on it getting it fixed. See, people like to wait strategically until they know their car is about to absolutely sh the bed to sell them for a great price. That poor person's gonna be getting rammed because you suck. Even though you're just doing what any normal person would do. <laughs> Being racist in 2022 is like still smoking in 2022. <laughs> we all know the consequences, so why do it? It's an excellent question. This dude who spits in people's food is random people on the internet gives him money. What? Okay, oh, I'll work faster, I'll spit in burger, I'll quit my job. Uh, you should be arrested. Is it me, or does anyone think this looks like the cover for a Star Wars movie? Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Chef Gordon Ramsay is facing backlash on TikTok after posting a video in which he appeared to select a lamb to slaughter for a meal, rubbing his hands together while repeatedly saying, yummy. This isn't a news story. People being mad on the internet is never a news story. Yeah, I'm so tired of what passes for news these days. It's all gloom and doom to scare you. Or, this person who's richer than you could ever fathom did something weird and people didn't like that on this one platform. That's all it f***ing is, dude! Shut up! I've stuck a plunger to my belly and it won't come off. What have I done? I'm so glad I woke up to see this. Gently lift one side of it up. The more you pull, the greater the suction. I can't even get my finger under! What have I done? I'd love to see you go to the hospital with this. We've seen an increase in people putting tomato slices in the crane game machines at Walmart. We've therefore asked their subway to not put tomatoes on sandwiches until further notice. Demon sperm donor Stella Emanuel loses her defamation suit against CNN for many reasons. Not least of which is, it's not defamatory to quote stupid things you've said. If your own words make you look like you're unfit to be an MD, stop saying crazy shit. I can't believe this woman sued CNN because they reported correctly that she believes witches impregnate women with demon babies if they dream about movie stars. What? My husband was trying to talk about Shrek, but he couldn't remember Shrek's name. Shrek. So he called him Summertime Grinch. I mean, yeah, I could get with that. I mean, he's not fuzzy, though. My favorite Ben 10 character, XL Super Size Turtle. I had a girlfriend tell me once after she hurt my feelings that she didn't think she'd done anything wrong because she was convinced that guys didn't have feelings. What a world we live in! I wonder how many girls think that way. What the fuck? Dude, I totally agree. Dane Cook, aged 50, engaged to longtime love Kelsey Taylor, aged 23. Well, I hope long time wasn't any longer than five years. I believe this is all alleged. I have no proof of what I'm about to say. I am simply going off of random shits on the internet, so do not take this at all for face value. But people were saying they met when she was 15. He waited until she was 18 to start dating her, and then there you go. Look, Dane, I know that your brother stole a ton of your money and you put him in jail, and that sucks. And something's clearly going on. You've been getting some work done. Age gracefully, dude. You had a lot of kick-ass moments. You made my childhood funny, but you're being a little creepy, man. You're being a little creepy, Dane. Just because I'm your cousin, it doesn't mean we can't be together. Yeah, you just gotta move to a specific place. D 
different type of episode. Been going through an episode. Sorry if I've been acting weird the past couple of weeks. Episode last weeks? Last weeks? I see what they're trying to say. They can last months. Because you watching. Oh, I get it. Angry Man vows never to return to Sainsbury's after being banned from Sainsbury's. Well, thank you. Vanessa Hudgens says she dislikes water so much, she faints from dehydration. So, she started a cactus water business. That is, that is just water though, right? It just comes from a slightly different source. 